<laughs> Olivia, what are we going to draw in this lesson? I'm a frog. Yeah, we're going to draw a cute frog. Now, this lesson is meant for younger artists. How old are you? Three. Yeah, three. <laughs> we hope you're going to follow along with us. You need crayons and also... Paper. Paper. You ready to start? Yeah. Okay. We're first going to start with our... What color is this? Um, green. Yeah, green. We're going to start by drawing a green circle in the middle of our paper. Can you draw a green circle? Right yeah. here. Yeah, good job. Now we're going to switch to our black crayon and we're going to draw the eyes. We're going to draw two more circles, but we're going to draw them smaller. We're going to draw one right here and we're going to draw another one over here. Two eyes at the top. Oh, yes. And you're coloring it in. Good job. Oh, I like how... <laughs> I like how small you colored your eyes. I'm going to color my eyes in, too. It's so funny I do small eyes. Yeah, you did small eyes. Now let's switch back to our... Oh, first, before we switch back to the green, let's draw a mouth on our frog. And we could draw a happy mouth. Yes, good job. Oh, super happy mouth. I like it. Now we're going to switch back to our green crayon and we're going to draw the part that goes over our frog's eyes. We're going to draw an upside down U. We'll go around like this and we'll go around like this on both eyes. One and then another one. <laughs> I love your frog so much. Okay. Yeah, that's perfect. Okay, now we're going to switch to our red crayon. And we're gonna draw the tongue because they stick, uh. yeah, they <laughs> they stick their tongues out and then they eat stuff. What do frogs like to eat? Um, flies. Yeah, flies. <laughs> Let's draw the tongue right here. We're gonna draw a big U shape. The letter U right here underneath the mouth. Do you want to color in your tongue? Yeah. You did it. Now I'm gonna color my tongue also. Now we're going to switch back to our green crayon and we're going to color in our frog. This part we're going to fast forward so you guys can pause the video and take time to color your frogs also. Good job, you did it! Okay, now let's draw our frog's toes. We're going to draw three toes. One, two, three. And do you want to draw mm -hmm. three little toes sticking out over here? One, two, and three. Good job! Then we're going to add three more toes for his other foot. One, two, three, right here. One, two, three. Oh, those are little toes. <laughs> I like how little they are. That's awesome. Okay, now let's draw the arms. We're going to draw one arm sticking out over here and another arm sticking out over here. I'm going to draw one line and another arm. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> then we're going to draw the fingers on our frog's hands. One, That's two, like three. Snickering. Yeah, wiggly arms. <laughs> I like drawing the arms up because then it looks like he's going to reach for his, the flies, his dinner. You want to draw three little bumps like this for his fingers. One, <laughs> two, and one more. Oh yeah, a little one. You could draw a little bigger. You want to draw a little bigger finger? Oh, yes. Oh, he looks like he's giving a thumbs up. <laughs> okay, draw the little fingers over here. Oh, yeah. Oh, there you go. <laughs> okay, add three fingers over here at the same size. Do one, two, and another one. <laughs> it's an arm. Yeah, it looks like it's on his arm. I'm going to add three over here, too. One, two, three. Let's All right. Let's the brown day oh, there. <laughs> I'm going to color in my fingers like this, color in these, the toes down here and toes down here. Do you want to color? Oh, what? I <laughs> he forgot. I forgot the fingers over here. <laughs> All right, you want to color in your toes and fingers? Mm -hmm. What do frogs like to sit on? Lily pad. A lily pad, yeah. Let's start right here on this side and we're going to draw an oval. Comes around like this and back on the other side. You can start here, draw around and connect over there. Yes, that is an awesome lily pad. It's like his house. Okay, what are we missing now? We got to draw something else. One more thing. Fly. Yeah, flies. We need to draw our flies. We're going to switch back to our black crayon. Put our green one over here. And we're going to draw a circle first. Draw a circle and then color it in. 
You want to draw a circle right here and color it in? But I'll do wings too. Oh yeah, we'll add the wings too. There's the body. Wow, that's a big fly. That's going to be breakfast, lunch, and dinner. I like it. All right, and then we're going to add the wings. Perfect. You did it. Two wings. Can I add wings to mine? Yeah. All right, we're going to draw a U shape and another I U shape. I love a big one. A big one. I love it. I'm going to add one more fly right here. Circle and the wings. And it don't have eyes. Yeah, no. <laughs> You could add eyes, but we're going to leave those off. Do you want to add one more fly? Yeah. Above his head over here. Yes, you did it. I love how big your flies are. Those look like tasty flies. Mm -hmm. Okay, I think we need to do one more thing. This part we're going to fast forward again, but we're going to add water underneath our lily pad. So I'm going to draw a line right here and a line over here, and then I'm going to color underneath it. Does that look like water? Yeah. Okay, do you want to add water to your drawing also? Yeah. Olivia, give me five. You did such a great job on coloring and drawing your frog. What was your favorite part? All of them. All of it? That was my favorite part too. And I especially love that your frog looks different than mine. They both turned out perfect. That's because the most important thing is have fun. Yeah, and to practice. We hope you guys had a lot of fun following along with us, and we'll see you later, our friends. Goodbye! <laughs> hey, parents and teachers, take a photo of your child's finished artwork and post it on Facebook or Instagram. Also, be sure to tag us in it at Art for Kids Hub. Did you know that we also have a website? You can find it at artforkidshub.com. It has more lessons and information about art supplies we love to use. You can also visit artforkidshub.tv to learn more about our awesome Art Hub membership. The membership includes exclusive lessons and our own apps so your child can learn art in a focused, distraction-free environment.